10 on your side is your local election headquarters in Virginia's second largest city. The race for mayor is on track to be the most expensive ever. Combined, the two candidates have spent more than $150,000 to get their message out. But they aren't the only ones involved. Ten on your side's Brett Hall is following the funds. Growing up in Chesapeake, I've always known what makes this place special. He was the first mayoral candidate on TV this fall, Chesapeake Mayor Rick West. He's running for his second full term in the seat, and according to information compiled by the Virginia Public Access Project, he has raised more cash than anyone who has run for the office before. More than a quarter of a million dollars since the beginning of last year. Most of the cash coming from developers, much of the cash, while my opponent resorts to negative attacks like they do in D.C., used to push back against attacks not entirely coming from project. The PAC sent out two mass mail pieces in September, both slamming West on a request he made of the former city attorney back in 2022 looking to help his stepbrother in Georgia, who was in a dispute with the local government there over a septic connection. I asked his opinion. I wanted to know what Chesapeake was doing in regards to uh, restricting people's uh, ability to do septic systems so that I could advise my uh, stepbrother as to what we were doing, then he could use his legal uh, counsel to use the same argument if it applied. That's all I needed, that's all I wanted. However, that's not what an email sent from a member of the city attorney's office said at all. That did, it didn't say Chesapeake, the letter. Right, but you wouldn't talk to your attorney for Chesapeake unless we're talking about Chesapeake. So, I mean... So you never right. intended is what you're telling me. So, so, so that, are you saying that letter from the city attorney staff member was not, did not communicate your intentions? Correct. The Patrick Henry Project says West is blaming his screw up on others. According to campaign finance reports, there have been only two donors to the PAC, local attorney James Lang and his wife. Lang declined going on camera for this story, but did tell us, quote, Chesapeake's legal department is paid for by the taxpayers to serve us, not the mayor's stepbrother. Both he and his wife are longtime Democratic supporters, giving West's opponent, Don Carey, three grand. Elected four years ago with the support of the Republican Party, Carey now has the Democratic endorsement. On the local level, um, the things that matter to me are not things that matter to the Democratic Party. I mean, to, I'm sorry, to the Republican Party. Um, I want to fight for affordable housing. I want to fight for flood mitigation. I want to fight uh, to make sure that our infrastructure is as good as it can be. Aside from himself, his top donor is State Senator Louise Lucas. She's considered among the most powerful Democrats in the state. However, Kerry says he has no connection to the PAC and won't be controlled by party leaders. I care less about any other outside forces. None of that has any bearings here. You can see our full interviews with the two candidates by checking out their pages on your local election headquarters. It's online at wavy.com. Again, election day, now just two weeks away. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.